athletes and fans of bodybuilding, you are watching Olympia TV. I'm Linda Murray, eight times Ms. Olympia, and my host joining me, four times Arnold Classic champion and placed second in the world in 1998, Flex Wheeler. That'd be me. That'd be me. That'd be me. Yes, oh, man. Yes, yes that, that'd be you. That'd be you. And my, my host, my sidekick, Wendy Fortino. Seven Yay. times she's qualified to be on that Olympia stage. And nobody better to talk about being on that stage in heels. Right. All yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I right. never did that. Me, and, me no. and you, Linda, we can't discuss that part, right? No, 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 we cannot. I mean, I wear heels at home, but it just I just never wore them on stage. You know? No judgment. No judgment zone. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Guys, we're here with the fabulous, <laughs> the fabulous two times Miss International Bikini, Laura Lee Chapatos. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hello, I get so hello. shy. I get so <laughs> shy. <laughs> yes. well, I want to set the stage for our fans out there. Okay. Um, we are four weeks away from the Miss International Bikini. Mm -hmm. And you will be defending your title. You won it in 22 and 23. And now you're going into 24 to take that third title, the third one. And I just want to set the stage because um, we have a lineup of 12 women. 12 women we have, and pretty much all of the women qualified for the Olympia this past, mm -hmm. they, were, they were on the Olympia stage. So it's a tough, tough lineup. And I'm just going to say, put this out there, there Miss Olympia, two times, Jennifer Dory, she will not be there. Marine Blanquisco, one time Miss Olympia, she will not be on that stage. And also, hey. say that again. <laughs> Ashley Cotwasser. Ashley Cotwasser would not be on that stage. Now, here's the thing. I'm setting the stage and, and giving this information out there to all of you. The fact is, you've beat all of them. Mm -hmm. You've already beat them. Mm -hmm. You've done hold that. On. You've done that. <laughs> she said, hold, she said, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, because I, I would take that. I, I would absolutely take that, Linda. Thank you so much. But there is a huge comeback, Miss Angelica Teixeira. Yes. That, yes. And to this day, in my 10 years almost career, this Angelica is the only woman I've never beat. Okay. The only competitor I've never beat in my life. So you bet I'm excited to jump on that stage with her. Mm -hmm. um, wow. But, you know, I, I have so much, I mean, I won't go in depth too much um, on that, but I have so much admiration for Angelica. I mean, my first Olympia, we battled it out, her and I, in 2018 for the first and the second place, or her second first place uh -huh. and um i finished second that year and since then we've we've you know very close friendship and i'm super excited for her comeback and uh you know it's gonna be a battle you know it's yeah. angelica and i like she's very competitive and so am i so it's gonna be a good show We're yeah. Ready for it. yeah yeah it's gonna be a good show how do you you know um and just the mindset because you just just stepped off the Olympia stage. And um, again, like the bikini lineup is, is always tough. You have also another Ms. Olympia in that lineup, Elisa Pacini, Amy Delgado's, uh, she'll be on that stage. Um, how do you, what mindset do you have where, how do you prepare to not put too much on the gas, not put it on the brakes, just, just do you and be you and bring your best, your best, Laura Lee. I think you hit that right on the nail. It's about the mindset, right? So to establish the fact that I'm very unique, 
this is my body. This is my journey. I've had some ups and downs. If people have followed my journey, I've been, you know, successful from the beginning. And then I went to my worst placing in my career and then I went back up, but I'm always, you know, it's almost there. And then it went back down and almost there, but everything yeah. is, is a lesson and I learn and I apply. That's it. Mm -hmm. And for me, there's, there's no other Laura Lee, like every other bikini girls, there's no other one like them. But the only thing I have time to worry about is one step in foot of the other. And it's only my journey. And uh, there's so much to do with bodybuilding. You know, it's like an ever, never ending journey. And I love this thing so much. It's crazy. And uh, we're looking at the video from the Olympia. And um, um, I'm laughing a little bit because I was at the NPC yesterday, uh, photo gym. And uh, obviously, we've been working on the feedback of bringing my legs down quite a bit. And I'm like, wow, I, I can I can see. I can see why. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Can. I can't at all. <laughs> you know, what, Laura, I want to jump in and ask you a question because I'm not I'm not sure if you if you're aware, but we have so many things in common. You know, winning the honor classic, you know, being a bridesmaid and showing up. Uh, well, uh, uh, bridesmaid, but showing up at the Olympia, taking second place. Um, how do you how do you handle it? I know how that bothered me, you know, because when I when I went into the Arnold, I was like, this is my show. You know, you need to come and beat me. Um, but I always had to deal with either like Ronnie or Dorian. How do you how do you mind set your mind frame on when you know you have to go into a competition a that you won already? But the Olympia where it's always been second place, second place. Wow, Wendy, that's a great video. Thank you for that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because you get to see them. Uh, yes, actually, so awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you nailed that. We got um, to answer your question. I mean, damn that, Ronnie. Because you did it <laughs> twice. You, you. Placed. I mean, I mean, flex. Have you like? Have you ever? Like you say when Arnold, you say it's your show. Like for me, when I go to the Arnold, like I'm four weeks out from the Arnold, uh -huh. all I'm focusing is being better to the Olympia. I'm not going as a reigning champion. Obviously, people mm -hmm. know that I'm a reigning champion, but I I go as a fourth place Olympia, like my last placing, and I know I can do better. Like there's mm -hmm. um the Arnold is a special show because you need to get invite invited to it. So mm -hmm. um yeah, take it show. off, Wendy. That's the part. That's the part that I hate the worst. When he pulls his shorts up his butt. I'm like, God dang it, I screwed up. Oh, now we gotta see it. There, Wait, no, there's no, 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 no. Go there's ahead. no sorry, screw Laura. up. I'm sorry, but, but, Laura. But you Go both ahead. have really been in that position. You've both been in that position, and yeah. it's so close. The Olympia is always at the end of the year, and then Arnold show that first week in March, and you place second twice. Laura Lee, right? Yeah. The, mm -hmm. At the Ms. Olympia. Yeah. So you were oh, saying you, you don't go know. in as the champ? Laura, you were saying you don't go in as the champion. What were you what were you saying? Yeah. That I, I don't I just don't sit, you know, it's like I always work. And for me, I just want to be better than I was at the Olympia. I want to hear the judges say, You have a winning physique. I don't want to win because this is my show. I don't want to like I want to yeah. win because I earn it. Yeah. And I had some feedback, you know, thank God I have some feedback. The worst thing you can be is second place and under. And yeah. the judges are telling you where, well, if you're perfect, there's nothing to change. Uh -huh. That, that is not a good place to be. If wow. you lose, if you lose because you still have improvement to make, mm -hmm. I'm here for it, mm -hmm. you know, and I've never, you know, Thankfully, I, I always say that I've never, I've never lost a show looking my best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So there's like always that. room. And like I said, you know, when you love this thing, Flex, yeah. I think you just keep on going. But um, it's a it's a challenging one, this prep. And you know, the pressure is it's gonna come. I know it's gonna come in like a, a week or so. You know, I, I feel that, like a little bit when you're like the reigning champion, you know, I feel it's yes. a little bit like it, it tingles a little bit when I'm gonna land and I, everything is so familiar and everything. I know it's gonna hit a little bit, but mm -hmm. all, all for now is just positive vibe and so much yeah. fun. 
So yeah. how is it challenging? What I mean, you said something about the judges said something about as far as like size in your in your quads. Um, how do you? I mean, I think I kind of know how I would try to do that, but if you have that genetics, I, so what's challenging? What what are you doing? So obviously, every prep is a little bit challenging, but what I mean by that is just changing the way that I train and my approach on things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so obviously bikini is very proportioned and the Mr. Olympia was very recent. So yeah. it, you know, it sets the tone for the rest of the year, which I'm glad. I think the top three was phenomenal this year. And mm -hmm. I, I was, you know, a little bit obviously more muscular and especially in the lower body, which takes away from my overall you know, hourglass look that they're looking for. So mm -hmm. we can see in the video right now, it's a very plyometric base. I don't do any meat head stuff. You know, if you look at my videos in the past, when I feel good, I just want to push up some weight. I want to train hard. I want to go to a dark place. That's how I train, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I, I put on some weight. When I, I love feeling strong. Um, this one is a bit more challenging because it's more cardio based. It's less mm -hmm. of what you know. Mm -hmm. And when you've been doing what you know for seven years and you're mm -hmm. trying something different, it's uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. that's where growth is. It's in those uncomfortable moments mm -hmm. and you just push through. And yeah, that's Kim making me doing side lunges. And I'm like, I'm so long and awkward. This is not. <laughs> yeah. so you were, I have a question. So you were, um, you know, you're talking about your lower body and your, you know, that was one thing that you were saying that you were working to, to bring down your lower body. So what all changes did you did you need to make from the Olympia? I mean, I am with Flex. I think that you look literally perfect. Mm -hmm. But you're you're it's it's a mix between looking perfect and aiming to win, right? So what all did are you guys doing for this show? So we're um so obviously there's been changes into the workout. So now I'm down to only one glute workout a week. Okay. Um, okay. Only one glute workout a week. We're doing more cardio. I'm doing obviously like fasted cardio. I'm doing jogging because mm -hmm. you know the jog, like I used to do sprints, but then sprints would get my quads obviously very big and full. So yeah. when, you, when you see um, endurance runner, right? It's like they're doing little steps. It's yep basically like a thousand reps at a time. And it's actually my boyfriend that brought it up two years ago. And when we did that, and I just incorporated jogging instead of just walking in tre incline treadmill or just sprints for calories um, or step, you know, step mill, mm -hmm. it really brought up like the, the lines in my legs. And I remember mm -hmm. that was for the 2021 Olympia and yeah we had to bring up the blood into my quads and I was doing lunges backstage. So there were no lines in my quads because I had lines yeah. in my quads for the first time. And obviously don't wow. want to see that. So now, so what happened in like the four months between the Olympia, I think it was my first time in a long time that I was able to, to eat. I was in a very good place mentally. I was super happy. And um, obviously Kim is the king of longevity. And my coach, like, longevity and health and everything. So everything was super aligned. I was just like having fun and like pushing weight. And second, next thing I know, I'm coming down, but like my, my muscle are staying, like they're not leaving my body. I'm like, uh oh. So, you know, I also matured, you know, I, I spoke with, uh, I think it's on the last interview we had. I started, I was 17 years old. Now I'm, you know, about to turn 28 in two weeks. So it's you say that like you're so old be be careful you're on a phone with you. flex no but flex no but it's not even a matter of the age flex you know what yeah, i mean yeah. it's like when you when you've yeah. been doing it for 10 years that's that's yeah. the age that's yep. the age it doesn't it doesn't right. matter like you know it's funny because people are like you know it's like your first olympia i'm like but it's not you know i've been doing this for a while like i want to yes. win this thing you know yeah. I you're a see veteran this. now in 10 years you're a veteran in there i, I want to ask you a question so you said um you said something really interesting you said at your best you've never been beaten so let me ask you why why do you feel that you've always brought your best to the the international but you haven't been able to bring your best to the olympia 
Good question. I couldn't answer that question for myself, right? People you couldn't. Ask me that, so that's why I want. I'm glad ask Flex asked you asked that question because I wouldn't. Even you can't think. answer it. You're that's a good time. problem. Like I can't. That, yeah, I know you can't. <laughs> no. Wow. Um, I mean, do. You, I don't know. I mean, you know, Linda, you, you were talking about timing, you know, like the fact that it's in March and then September, most of yeah. the time, like, it, it, I don't think it's a thing of a, a, of a year. It could, right. Like life happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah. uh, bodybuilding is beautiful, but it doesn't, mm -hmm. you can't put pause on your life. And mm -hmm. like I said, 17, 18, 19, yeah. 20, like there's a lot of things that are happening yeah. in my life. Yeah. You, know, guess, what, you know what I, what I'm hearing and, um, when like with bikini, um, I love the fact I read your bio. Yeah. I know you're an athlete, you love soccer, you started out in soccer. Um, and it's just great to hear that you love to weight train. Like yeah. you had to like reel it back in, you know, yeah. because in the beginning, people would try to make jokes about bikini. Oh, they don't, they don't train. And I'm like, and and also the the little small things that matter, like you saying that you had to do lunges backstage to to get the blood wow. in your thighs so that it would um I guess camouflage the 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 lines and the leanness. So people don't realize like it's just it's such a small mm. yeah. like what I see in bikini. You know, yeah. you guys are always in great shape all year long, yeah. but you can't always make your body do some of those things. It's like, hey, you know, it's like when we manipulate water, water and sodium and that kind of stuff. So elaborate on that, because that's just really interesting. I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's having, you know, a, a great coach that keeps your eyes on you and it's never, you know, sitting on his laurels. You know, I just had a call with him and he's like, we had good feedbacks from the being from the NPC, but he's like, I'm not, you know, we're not sitting on it. We're just keep on working, keep on pushing. There's yeah. no re there's no refeed. There's no less cardio. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's less calories actually. So yeah. we're, we're just not stopping to work, but we're aligned, you know, and uh, yeah. it doesn't stop until, until the show. And even on show day, it's, you know, Linda, it's every second. Yeah. So Wendy, Wendy and, and, um, and Linda, you know, for us, uh, we, we had to get into the best shape of our life, right? Mm -hmm. that, that was yep. what we were trying to do, right? We we're trying right. to achieve the right amount of muscle, right? With extreme condition. Yeah. So yeah. it's really interesting that, that mm -hmm. Laura, you know, she has to like back off of that condition. Mm -hmm. I, I've never been in that world. I mean, all yeah. we did is push on the gas and keep the gas going. Mm -hmm. where she's talking about like, yeah, I get to a point where I get so lean, I have to back off of, that's really, yeah. in, that's really like a, a, a mind F, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because you're banging so hard, Laura, you're dieting so hard. And I had the pleasure while you're training here mm -hmm. in Vegas to see you training everything, you're training so hard, but then you have to back off that, that, how, how do you, how do you deal with that? I mean, I get it. You that's have great question. coaches with great eyes on you, but how mm -hmm. do you deal with that? like having a full pull back when you want to like go the more awesome shooting. she gets the worse she does on stage it seems like and that makes her really a true artist it's just yeah. like an artist but you're yeah. trying to manipulate the human body and sometimes yeah. it doesn't always necessarily agree with the small things and and i mean you you said it so well um sex it's, it's just you know it's crazy because i've been the leanest i've ever been and then you know, it was a little bit more on the backside and then a little less on the backside. And then it's, you know, but at the end of the day, like I said, I love this thing so much and I want to win. Like, am I going to hear like, of course, there's a part of me that people are like, but we like everybody wants your glutes. Everybody wants your legs. Like, but I'm like, but I want to win, you know, like, and mm -hmm. as long as do what I, I could check out right now and be like, you know, I want to keep my glutes. I want to I want to keep my. Mm -hmm. my training hard and that would be it for my bodybuilding career but i don't i want to win miss olympia i want to be three time miss international yeah. Yeah. so there, yeah. there there's on there's no more thought process to that yeah yeah what do you need to do in order to win period. yeah and that's why i asked that question because that's 
like the mindset, like I know you talk to the judges after and you have to try to like still focus, train, do what you need to do, stay in your lane, but you know, get the job done. So a lot of people would, would drop the ball. They would just not have, they wouldn't be able to do it. You know what I mean? And people don't understand what a champion like you, what you have to go through. It's yeah, it's a it's a warfare, you know, in there, mm-hmm. you know. It's um it is. but it's it's all in, it's all in there. But um I have very good feelings for this year and you know I've said that so many times, but I I I think it's just for me, you know, it's funny because the judges now they just say don't overthink it. That's all they're like, just don't overthink. Mm-hmm. Just trust and don't overthink yeah Yeah. we're doing that i have like really best something that i just have observed about you because i I feel like i've known you for a while now i've interviewed you a few times and i've seen you work i've seen you you know performing and everything you you have a combination of of things that i see very rarely okay you're you're extremely sweet and engaging with your fans Mm -hmm. i mean you you make everyone feel so special and maybe i mean it it's so genuine. I could tell it's real. That's how you are, you know, and you are so polite and everything like that, but you have this fierceness about you (laughs) where you, you still, you're like, I am winning and it is so fierce. And there you, you combine it so well. It's like this balancing act of the sweetest person I've ever met. So genuine, so humble. And then you also are like, I am the champion. I mean, you have to recognize this about yourself. I mean, I think it's hard for people to balance that out. You know, I mean, Flex and Lenda, you two are the same way. The mm-hmm. same same things that I admire about Len, about uh, Laura Lee, I admire about Lenda and Flex. So, so Laura Lee, how do you how do you balance this? I mean, we know you're fierce. What t- give us a little glimpse into the mind of of this champion way that you are? I think there's a t- like a place and time for everything in life you know I don't the way that I show up in my daily life if it's not in a gym setting and during a set I love people I'm so thankful for everything that the sport has brought me mm-hmm. is insane and I think the fact that I wake up every day with being able to do what I love and that's because of, of you guys that's because of like the people that I actually meet and they're, they, they're, they love me for loving what I love doing. It's like, it's like a yeah. weird thing. So it's very hard for me to not acknowledge that every day and just be so shocked, you know, and yeah. kind of, mm-hmm. um, I do think, yeah. So I, I balance it the way Real. that, yeah. I mean, I balance it the way that I do my thing at the gym. This yeah. is me. Um, I'm, I'm very, I'm very hard on respect. Like it's in the top of my value. Um, so people know to respect me when I train and they know I said, I said that tone, but other than that, just talk to me. I'm a hugger. I'm, I'm, I'm that girl. (laughs) Speaking of which, we have a couple questions from some fans. Well, actually one of our co-hosts, Camille, she asked this question. I didn't want to interrupt you. She wants to know, um, do you use any type of body composition tests to analyze lean mass changes as you're trying to decrease or mainly just go off of visual? That's a good question, actually. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm Camille. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is a good question because we see more and more you know, tools to mm-hmm. be able to help. Um, I actually go visually. Yeah. And uh, I've been like that for a very long time. Um, I do meal prep meaning like four ounces of chicken like i don't even know my macros Mm -hmm. i just know what i eat and then i go by what the judges are looking at which is us yeah they don't they don't go by body fat they don't go by by the scale or anything Mm -hmm. so i keep that in mind i think that's very important because people can get lost with all the tools and the measurements and this and that Mm -hmm. again i completely understand the coaches that need to do that because they don't have the opportunity to see athletes face to face um but you need to take what helps you and sometimes knowing all these things unless it's for fun and it actually serves you 
it doesn't really serve me, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, It's interesting. I, I love your answer because back in our days, Linda, I mean, macros and, and my, I mean, right. Know, like, what does that yeah. mean, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and we're so used to, which you are now a, a veteran in this, Laura, I don't have to measure my food. I can just eyeball it and tell what uh -huh. it is. And, and, and it doesn't matter what the skin dex or whatever says. Mine used to say 0. 0.000, but it doesn't really matter. It matters what, how much skin and fat or water and fat. There we go, Linda. <gasps> how much, how much, Stop. Uh, how I know. Much this is fat. iconic. Oh, <laughs> my God. And a great Aaron Baker. But it, it, all it matters <laughs> at is how much water and fat is between the sub Q. That's mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. some people carry a little bit more intermuscular fat. Some people carry a little bit more sub Q fat. So it doesn't really matter. Even a scale. Like I would tell guys, they don't weigh us on scales. You know what I mean? So it's beautiful mm -hmm. to see that you use in that art because all that matters is what looks what, what you see in a mirror not what the skill says not what the skin deck says so that's beautiful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can you imagine if they lined you up on stage and they were like okay now um, before we choose the winner we're going to do a, a body fat test oh and wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Jeez. that's crazy oh my goodness wow Look yeah one of the fans Jeez. I got my Daisy Dorks Dukes on. Daisy Dukes. That was back in the hot skin days. Those are good days. Oh, oh yeah. Daisy Dukes days. Well, oh. well, it's definitely it's inevitable, Laura Lee, that you will win the Olympia. Like it's Ooh, just it's we got some predictions. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That 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 gave me the chills. I mean, yeah. I'm, I agree. I'm here, I'm here until it happens. You know. I'm mm -hmm. really here until it happens, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because um, you've competed against the current Miss Olympia, and you know, you beat her. You, you know, if the Arnold me. last year was the Olympia, you would have been Miss Olympia. That was that, <laughs> that, that correct? That, that, yeah, <laughs> Wendy. Wendy, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, I've been we've been looking notes and just yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just it is what it is. It is what it is. It is it what is it is. is. It but is. I hope you find comfort, Laura, in knowing that you have to achieve that look that could win mm -hmm. the Olympia. I, I hope you consciously are aware of that. You've achieved that look at mm -hmm. the international. All you have to do is duplicate that look. So it's not like the judges are looking for something that you haven't done or asking something of you or something of your body True. that you haven't achieved. You've achieved that. So understand that in your mind. I just have to do be the best that I can be. I have to defeat my own look and I can become yeah. Mr. Uh, Miss Olympia. I hope you're aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, that's, walk us through this. Rock, walk us through what was going through your mind in the Olympia because they did the call outs, you know, and you were, um, and you were called out. You you ended up placing fourth, but you did, you placed behind you know three girls that you beat in the in the Arnold. Like yeah. I think it's the fans would love to know like what exactly was going through your mind in during this time. So Thank going into the spot. Olympia, I was so happy, and I think um, I have a video on my YouTube channel where my videographer is taking me like right after prejudging. And what the word was, was just confused. I was so confused because I was so happy with the package. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you correlate that. You're like your happiness. And I've never been so happy to present a package like that. Posing wise, my hair, everything that could have gone wrong was going right that day. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. everything. So I was you like, on point. girl, when I was like, Wendy, like everything, trust me. And I was like, I was testing God at this point. I was like, <laughs> you were I, texting God? No, testing, testing. Okay. I was testing because I was, like, I was like, everything, he was so like good. Like everything was so aligned for me. I was like, there's, I mean, it has to be, you know what I'm saying? It has to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they didn't call me back for the top three, so like they didn't even call me back to be able to be like a top five mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, they did that twice. So they did that in uh, 2022. Yeah. They called top four and I was out. And then again, they called the top three this year and I was out the, mm -hmm. the top four. So mm -hmm. um, that that was just con confusion was just mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, 
that was the word that I just kept on repeating. And um, again, it's a, it's a, it's a learning process. Yeah. But I think it just had never been like that before. Mm -hmm. well, you could really see how different your body type is than everyone else. It's almost like they don't know what to do with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have you have such a gorgeous such a mm -hmm. gorgeous physique. It's it's just so like there's only one you. I love how you said mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. there is a very specific body type in bikini, and you fit that mold. But you also have such mm -hmm. a womanly pop to your body. You know, round, and you're five nine. You're yeah, five nine. Five seven, five seven. Five seven. Okay, five, five, seven. five seven. But you look at her amongst the other ladies, she looks so tall because you have mm -hmm. such beautiful long lines. I mean, yes. literally, if you didn't pick bodybuilding, you could have easily been a runway model with those long legs of yours. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's so abnormal, right, to have a woman that long and have such incredible glutes attached to it. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. Uh, what, what an incredible physique you have. Thank you. Oh my God. That means, that means a lot. I mean, I'm not saying nothing that nobody don't see every time you walk outside the door, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Your, your presentation uh, is flawless. Yeah. Your yeah. presentation is flawless. Like I, I love men, right? But when I'm sitting in the audience, <laughs> And when you 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 do some just little small things the way you bat your eyes and I'm like oh, I'm in love. Confident. <laughs> confident. Oh my god, you, you're confident. I'm serious. I'm just, uh, you're just yeah, yeah. Flawless. It's gorgeous. Um, Thank you I'm gonna so add much. one more thing. I'm sorry Thank to keep you. you from from answering any of this, Laura Lee. We're just gonna go off on you for a second. Um yeah. the three uh, years where they they took the top three, it looks like, and they had you in the middle there. But here's the thing with your physique, okay? You <clears throat> don't have enough lower body muscle to do wellness. So that's not really an option for you. It's not like you, oh my gosh, you have these huge glutes and you better go do wellness. I mean, you're, you are a perfect bikini physique and you stand out like a sore thumb. And it's all about, like you said, bringing the best Laura Lee that cannot be denied. Is that kind of how you feel about, about your physique? Because it's, it, you know, it's, it's tricky. You're not wellness at all. 1000%, 1000%. Yeah. And when you, the sore thumb thing, I can send you a picture of the top four and I'm like, I can see right where I don't fit. Yeah. And I've heard it before. I've heard it before, you know, the, she has too much of an X factor. You know, we want more of a girl next door type of look, you know, not saying right. that any of these girls don't work hard. Like, trust me, I think Jen looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And when you put the top three, they're literally copy paste. They look copy paste the same thing. And then I have me. So yeah. um, again, Wendy, I yeah. think it's just bringing down, bringing down those legs, you know, like trim a little bit. I was, you know, on my cycle, sorry, flex, my little, <laughs> like my cycle there is a little bit of like water retention, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. it, but overall I, I still look at that and I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm so mm -hmm. proud of myself. Mm -hmm. I'm so healthy. Like I'm on the, mm -hmm. the biggest stage uh, on the Olympia, like, and I was with my family. I was like healthy, blood work, like mm -hmm. spick and span, like having yeah. fun, like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, it was confusing there. Like you can actually see me like a little bit of like down posing a little bit here. Mm -hmm. But um, but overall, like, how do I hide this awesomeness? How do I hide it a little bit? <laughs> well, it's a nice problem to have as far yeah. as like losing size you know it's i mean laura's I like i don't say, know <laughs> i know well i'm gonna say you're an athlete so you love to train and you do have the height where um you know i could see you figuring out what you need to do to just look but it's not like a lot of size it's not like i i never look at your thighs and go oh my goodness <laughs> No. I never have. I don't get it. I can never judge. I would never be able to judge. And, you know, you speaking about how healthy you are. I know for a lot of females, when they get so lean that they actually lose their period and everything. But I, again, I hope you understand what your body is telling you. That is how healthy you really are. You're able to get in yeah. great shape, yet it's not changing your hormones whatsoever. I, I do hope you really, really understand how Good healthy point. you really are and what your body is telling you. Yeah, I think it's, you know, I think it's so important 
now, especially as fitness athlete. You know, we talk about fitness all the time, but fitness means function, you know, and I want to be functional again. I don't want to be a competitor where my, like, I can't commute brain cells. You know, I know the extreme that we need to go to, but I, I'm also well aware of that's, if I want to do that for a long time, which I do, I'm passionate about this thing. Like I need to be smart. And, uh, um, again, I'm very happy with the package. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't change anything from it. I've learned so much from it. And, uh, it's a, it's a different challenge, you know, bringing those little mm -hmm. legs down and it, it's not going to be a lot. It's just going to be more proportioned. And I I'm staying in a very healthy position. I'm pumped. It's going to be a good time. I'm starving. I'm starving, but I'm pumped. It's good. Yeah. So what would you say, what would you say to the, all of the NPC bikini competitors out there that admire you and um, like, if you had two minutes to just kind of sum up what's really important, how, how do they get from where they are to where you are and, you know, things that maybe they think they need to do? Hmm. Oh my God. Um, where to begin? I think I've always said that in every interview that, you know, people ask me, what would you say to a new competitor, upcoming competitor, get your knowledge, get educated. And not just with like your girl, you know, the, the coach that you have in your gym, like go on there, like dig deep, like ask the question that people want to like, not necessarily ask. And if you're international competitor, even more, like see what's happening in the U S and just, mm -hmm. um, Cause it would be sh like, there's a lot of people that are doing things that not even pros are doing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. And no kidding. I, I honestly don't know the thought process because to me, when you look at the top five Olympia and I'm looking back at Janet and I'm looking back at Angelica because they're all Miss Olympias. Um, it, like you can have a thought process on like what these girls have been doing as protocol wise yeah. or not doing. You mm -hmm. think they've been there for a while, for that long, being able to compete for that long, being mothers because Janet is a mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're all very young to do what these NPC girls needs to do or like what their coaches are putting in their mind to do. Mm -hmm. No, you know, so um, mm -hmm. that that's my first, I think get education beyond you know that i think that's the first thing but um and then the second thing would be it's you you know i'm so i'm so glad i i'm so so happy with everyone that you know admire like look us at my journey and stuff but what i do is just documenting what i do i don't put it out there for you to copy me i don't you know if i can inspire you like i'm all here for it but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's just going to be you versus you. Like you're going to be the one that needs to eat your meal. You're the one that needs to wake mm -hmm. up in the morning. You're the one that needs to do your cardio to push it at the gym or not push mm -hmm. it at the gym. Mm -hmm. You need the one to downsize. So, mm -hmm. and you need to assess you in the mirror and literally like look it up, like yeah. look at yourself in the mirror completely and face it. Mm -hmm. And yeah do that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. That's so, so well said, because I think there is a disconnect, um, you know, with young athletes mm -hmm. and trainers and being on a team. And um, I believe some of them think, okay, like, I'm just going to turn everything over to you and let you just, <laughs> you know, but you're yeah. saying at the end of the day, it's you. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, thank you, you for saying that, Laura, because I know now a lot of the athletes of this era, they depend on their coach so much. Uh, and what I, I, I tell, uh, you know, it's saying about me, but what I tell my athletes is I'm not the boss. Yeah. I make suggestions on what you should do and what you should mm -hmm. take. Mm -hmm. You have to take ownership of whether you yeah. feel comfortable with that. And if not, buck back and say, hey, I'm not good with that. Can we do something else? But mm -hmm. you have so many athletes now that they just like think they're, 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 you know, their coach or whoever it is that helping them that they just can just do whatever they, they want and, and not have consequences to it. That athlete, that person has to bounce back and say, listen, I don't want to do that or I don't feel comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. And if your coach who's helping you don't respect that, you got to get another coach. Um, yeah. But that the athlete is the boss. I'm so happy that you said that because yeah. I know a lot of these athletes now, they 
they're looking to for these high profile coaches. And mm -hmm. because that coach might be so high profile, they feel that they have to do everything that coach says. Listen, like you said, Laura, it's your body, it's your health, it's you that's going to be winning, going through that hell, getting in shape, or it's going to be you laying in that hospital bed. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if there's no excuse for it. So thank you for saying that because mm -hmm. I know so many young ladies look up to you and I think they need to hear that. Mm -hmm. And and Flex, I mean, when, you know, thank you for, I mean, I'm to hear that from you and mm -hmm. as women also in the sport, because most of them are, are, are men, you know, I mean, that, that also means a lot. But, you know, when you say high profile coaches, you know, it's such a funny thing with bodybuilding because right. do you know who Michael Jordan coach is? Like, do you know who Tiger Woods coach is? <laughs> right. No. These Only are the I heard Michael Jordan's coach wow. is <laughs> like, but it's like, point. it's the bodybuilding is the only sport where for some reason the coaches are more. So like when you say high profile, is it because they're just good at Instagram at, at portraying that they're right. winning all the time? Where are these girls now? Where yeah. are yeah. your 26 IVB yeah. pros that you made the last year? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. are, are they like in coma? Are they in bed? Are they hey, girl. like, where are they? <laughs> so, and when I, when I, and you're so right. When I, I yeah. only use that word because mm -hmm. I hear you. I mean, I mean I'm being very, sense. very respectful. I only yeah. use that word because a lot of coaches will say, well, I turned this person pro or yeah. I turned this person and they won X amount of shows yeah. or mm -hmm. I trained this person and they won X amount of Olympia. So, yeah. I, you know, they use that as maybe yeah. they're the best or they know the best. Mm -hmm. But like you yeah. said, hey, some of us just like to keep quiet. Some of us yeah. just believe in keeping our athletes healthy you know, mm -hmm. even when they're into their 40s and 50s and their grandparents, you know, they're still extremely yeah. healthy. So, yeah. you know, yeah, it's a difference. That is, that is, like for me, I, my husband and I, we, we coach athletes and I've never understood this either because the athlete is the star. The athlete yes. is the, is the one doing the work. And mm -hmm. I can't even bring myself to say, like, look what we did. It's like, look what, right. you know, like my client Helene accomplished. I'm so proud of her. I'm so I'm so happy I would be able to I was blessed to be a part of this journey and we're collaborating, right? I mean it's it really is you are the athlete, you're the one in the trenches. You know, mm -hmm. you're you're following guidance that, you know, hopefully is is really good guidance. But mm -hmm. ultimately you're the one in the trenches and that's I could not agree with that more. I think that's yeah. Yeah. so well said. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I remember after my uh my Arnold speech, which was like yes. 15 minutes long. And I thank like everybody, everyone we loved it, but Kim. And then I'm like, I'm going backstage. Like my coach is like, like basically saved my life. I'm like, wait, I completely forgot. And he's like, Oh, oh. it's like, he's over here. He's like having the best time. He's like, do you think I care? Like he, he knows, knows who he is. He's yeah. comfortable. Aww. He knows who he is. Yeah. He knows right. who, yeah, Flex, yeah. exactly. When yeah. you know who you, you are, you don't yeah. You don't but that's it. that's another example of us as athletes and and being accountable and and being in alignment. Like mm -hmm. like it's this thing that you know when you're training, like your your body changes, your mind. We get better, um, and so when I see an athlete or I see a trainer, I mean like you're not in alignment, so. Because your coach, you're gonna choose somebody who's like you you connect with you guys, you know, and it, it yep. so it doesn't make sense that when I see somebody and they're like, Oh, I'm the star and I'm the coach, and I, you know, I've turned this many people pro or but um yeah. Yeah, or hearing you know almost, we we joke and say it's like um you know, I'm West Coast, so I love West Coast rapper, right? West Coast, East Coast. We joke, yeah. so we like, you know. These coaches are like Pete Diddy, you know, they just want to do, get in the background dance and just, yeah. just want to be seen, you know, and the rapper's like doing his thing, like, dude, get out of here, man, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I think get in trouble for that one. Yeah, it's such an important conversation to have. It really mm -hmm. is, because when you are, when you take control of your body and you know what's going on with you, then you're going to have a, a, a nice ride, a healthy mm, yeah. um, longevity, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. 
it's a I remember the first time that um I met I met Kim after like a couple shows and he's like I think we need to go back to having fun and I was when he said that to me like that I was like what do you mean having fun? You think I'm doing all this for fun? Like, yeah. this, like, <laughs> and I, it took me a while, but then I understood and I understood this year even more than ever. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's it. Like mm -hmm. I'm having fun now and whatever, like now I'm just having fun. And that's what allows mm -hmm. the cortisol, the, the hell, the longevity, like mm -hmm. I'm so present now in my life. It's yeah. incredible. Mm -hmm. And the thing that you can achieve with the bodybuilding and like being a good sister, a good daughter, like showing up in your life, the way that you actually want as a woman or as a human being period, mm -hmm. um, while doing the bodybuilding thing, which, you know, it takes a huge part of our life, of course. And mm -hmm. I love it, but mm -hmm. it teaches you so much on your character. And if you mm -hmm. really take it all in, if you really do take it all in and you're not in a situation where you're, you're scared of your coach or, you, you think that you need, oh, I need to nap. I need to like isolate myself. Yeah. I need to, mm -hmm. oh my God, there's so much things that it gonna, this, it's going to be. Yeah. This question for you um, is a good one, actually. Do you ever have stage fright? I want to hear this myself because I have, uh, I have yeah, my own. Yeah, tremendous audience. stage fright, Wendy. And I want to know, actually, I want to <laughs> know this question from you, Laura Lee, and Flex, and Linda. Okay, and then I'll answer it too. And I, I actually want your answer first. So let's start with you. <laughs> Who's <laughs> answer you want okay. first? Okay, who starts? Flex, you start. She says she wants Wendy's, Wendy's answer. First. Wendy, oh. Wendy okay. yes. This is, okay. Here, you you know, Linda said at the beginning, I have qualified for seven Olympias, okay? The frustrating thing for me is I feel so fierce and so just, I feel like a champion every time I step on that stage. But I have yet to to feel that in on the Olympia stage, and I this is like a huge thing that I need to overcome. I don't know what is going on with me. I don't know what is up. Mm -hmm. It's something that I have talked to Linda about, and it's there's something about like the Olympia stage. I get mm -hmm. I don't know some like something with my mind. I get it's it's overwhelming for me, and um, I've always dealt with weird fear. I when I ran track. I would train harder than anybody. And then I would get so nervous before a race that it, sometimes I would like hyperventilate and it would affect my racing. It was crazy. But, but yeah, I've, I've dealt with this a lot over my, over my life, but I'm also really confident. It's like weird. I can't, I can't explain it. Yeah. So it's not about the fact that you would feel like you're not worthy enough of being on that stage at all. Like, you know, you're worthy enough, but mm -hmm. it just happens yeah. on the show day. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Maybe like deep down inside, I feel like insecure or something. I don't know. But I don't think I, I don't know. I'm still, yeah. still I like think, I called you lesson here. I think the point that um, Laura Lee made earlier, you said something. And when I hear people say this, that you've never been more present in your mm -hmm. life. Present. Mm -hmm. You have to be, you can do yeah. all of the work the training, the diet, practicing the routine, walking over and over and over in your heels, coming from the left, from the right, mm -hmm. smiling in the mirror, out of the mirror. But you, what usually happens, and we know this, that when we diet and we train, you go to this place and, mm -hmm. Overdrive. Um, you know, you go to this place and it's just, it's, it's really, a, really a beautiful place. And I've had times where I was not present. Like my second Olympia, it was challenging because I was defending my title. So it was hard for me to really get, like, to understand what was going on. You what know, year was that? Before, before the second Olympia, 1991. 1991. So 1990, no, no problem, you know, but so I think that it's it's hard, especially when you when you're a champion and everybody knows Flex Wheeler and they know. Laura Lee, and you have 600,000 followers on Instagram and everybody, you have to still find a way to compartmentalize and quiet your mind enough to, to be able to. So I, I think that plays a huge role in it. It's yeah, it's, it's definitely a skill to practice because you made a point like it's so easy 
to to cope with bodybuilding. You see the people that are that's their safe place. They 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 won't change. But they're, these people are on overdrive. They're not feeling yeah. their feelings. They're not going through their emotions. They're just robot. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's like I said. It's so it's so easy to say like. I'm just going to bodybuild for the rest of my life. But if you're right, trying to be right. present in your life every second of the day, mm -hmm. oh my God, this is so. <laughs> That's okay. what, this day's oh footage goodness. are so good. See me with my braces and, and see, that's another example. That was my second Olympia. And then now you're trying to fix your teeth and change your hair and you're trying to do all these things and you're getting you sidetracked. Oh so, my yeah. God. Yeah. You look incredible. Oh my yes. gosh. Poetry 1991, baby. I have no words. So uh, oh for God. me to answer that question, um, yeah, it's weird. It's similar to you, Wendy. Um, whenever I went to the Arnold Classic, I, I felt like I was a man to beat. I literally would tell myself, you guys are in my house, come get me. And uh, <laughs> I would write it on, I would write on my, my mirror in my bathroom you said you're in you you wrote on your bathroom you're in my house now come and get me no 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 you got that all wrong sweetheart no so <laughs> the, the 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 bodybuilding show the iron man and the arnold okay. classic when i competed in those two shows okay. i always felt like competitors are coming into my home to try uh, to take what i have that it's mine mm -hmm. um the olympia mm -hmm. I always felt foreign it was only one year out of the olympia where i felt that this is my house come get it was uh, 1990, uh, 1999. Uh, mm -hmm. I felt that I was a champion that year. Um, but I don't, for, for me, I know it was just, I didn't feel that I was worthy uh, of being number one. I, I had mm -hmm. those conversations with myself my whole career. Uh, mm -hmm. I just had self doubt. I, it wasn't about condition or anything like that. It was just my mind frame. And I remember, uh, mm -hmm. I remember one of the Olympias, I was laying in a, in a back room and there was three other guys in that room. Remember they were back in the old days, we'd had our rooms and they would put just a few guys in the rooms. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm laying in a room and I'm laying in a room with guys who weren't really like headliners to say, right? They, yeah. they, they really didn't even have a shot to be in a top 15 back then. Okay. Yeah. And, and they didn't. So, but I'm laying there and they're talking about how hard they're trained and how they're going to win the Olympia. And I'm like, and I'm listening to all of that. I'm like, how is it that these guys aren't even headliners, yet I'm a headliner, and I can't even believe in myself that I'm going to win? And I got so angry at myself. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm going to go out on that stage, and I'm just, I'm, I'm going to try to like present a winning package. I'm trying to project myself as I'm the winner. I'm so pissed off, but you know, it was too late because I didn't have that mind frame when I trained. I know when I trained for the Honor Classic and the Ironman. I'm training like this is my house. And I feel that I projected mm -hmm. and I was able to create a, a different physique versus when I went into a show and I'm like, honestly, I, I, I'm just being honest. I, I went into the Olympia um, after Ronnie defeated me and I felt it was my best. I was like, listen, I'm just trying to hold everybody off of second place. Ronnie got first place locked. I can't yeah. get him. So let me shut down everybody else. And that was my mind frame. So I would only get to a certain condition and then I would shut down. And I knew what that condition was that, that nobody can beat me except Ronnie. And I would write on my window, my, um, my uh, mirror in my bathroom, okay, you won, you're second now. And then I would only stay at that look. I never Whoa. tried to push it forward like I would at the Honor Classic. So I know that was my hang up and, mm -hmm. and going into those two shows. Mm -hmm. You think it would have made a difference if you would have change your mindset? Do you think that, that would have changed the way that you looked on stage and maybe the outcome? I mean, be honest. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, you know, I just think it was different in my era because the truth is, I don't feel that my 98 look wasn't a winner. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't feel that my, my, my 1999 wasn't a winning physique. You know, I lost mm -hmm. by, um, I lost by, um, in 98, I lost by, three points mm -hmm. and then 99 actually showed up 20 pounds better and in better shape because i wanted to go and get ronnie mm -hmm. um and then i lost by a perfect silk score at a better looking physique so in yeah. my mind i said wow this is my best i've ever looked against ronnie and he's going to perfect score me where he didn't even perfect score me last year and i was off mm -hmm. so in my mind i was like wow i can never get this guy now 
Mm -hmm. You know what? Huh? So I think that during that time, you were training at Gold's Gym in Venice. Always. And that was like our social media. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was back then. You, you were like super popular. Everybody, I mean, every time I would go, you know, go to Gold's Gym, you, like you're there. Everybody yeah, me and my you. crew, me, Rico, and Chris, we were always so, there. So, you know, that that was challenging to be yeah. in that because yeah. it was constant people in your ear all the time. Mm. How did you go, Linda? You know what, Linda? Um, it you know never, what I'm that, that was a lot of pressure. I didn't deal with pressure that well. And um, Yeah, it was a lot of pressure. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I stayed yeah, in but, Michigan. I, yeah, but I, I want to ask you women a question, you three women with question. In our time, when we took our clothes off, we acknowledged who the winner was. We could tell backstage, just like, oh, you won. And we walk over to that person. We congratulate them backstage. Like, you got them. You won. That's how honest we was. How are you guys backstage? I mean, do you guys com- can converse? Do you, when, like, you know. I knew where that was going. When you, when you see a, a woman or a competitor that you know, like, oh, my God. Do you walk up and say, like, you got it? Or do you guys just shut down and let it happen on stage? Am I answering okay, well, that question? That's for you, Laura. All yeah. three of you. So you're the guest. You go first, Laura. Um, so it's bikini is really hard. Really, really hard. Uh, <laughs> you guys aren't this, all like kumbaya. Oh, you look so great, honey. We're, we're very, <laughs> no, we're very kumbaya actually. But you no, know, I mean, you know, especially the top five, like these girls, like Jen, I mean, I've could Isa, I've been competing with them like literally since the beginning of my career. Like, we're the OGs now, and we were having fun because that's what we were saying. <laughs> and it, I mean, so yeah, and it's really hard to tell. It's not one of those flex, like, uh-huh. I hear you for the guys. It's like you drop your pants off, you're like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we do. You know? like, Damn. But Damn. honestly, honestly, I do think, I do think there's a moment at the, I think it was the Arnold. Mm-hmm. I took off my robe. They didn't really think anything of it. And then I just heard the silence. I heard the silence <laughs> for the first time. And I was like, oh, that probably feels so good. Mm-hmm. You it, like was interesting. it was really interesting because that Arnold 2023 last year, I thought it was one of my 14th show back to back. I was like, I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was finished fourth. Like I called one of my friends. I was like, no, you know, I don't know. She's like, are you crazy right now? Like you don't know what you didn't see what happened. I'm like, no, like you don't even, I don't really acknowledge what's going on on stage. Yeah. Like I barely know what the center is, like what they're doing. Cause sometimes they're doing like, you know, different stuff. So, um, mm-hmm. so flex to answer your question. We don't really have that moment, but I remember the 2023 Arnold was little, I heard the silence. That's all I'm going to say. Wendy. Well, well, I think we're going to hear the silence coming up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Hopefully. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Um, I, I do think that like for in figure, I definitely, there are some incredible physiques and you know, the interesting thing is sometimes the people who look the best backstage don't always mm-hmm. do the best on stage. It mm-hmm. is the craziest thing when it comes to full muscle bellies. Sometimes the, the way that someone poses or the way the light hits the body, the lights. Yes. I, my husband always like, teases me he always says you look better backstage than you do on stage Mm -hmm. like for whatever reason I'm just Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more impressive like Mm -hmm. in person and then when I'm on stage I just I kind I'm five feet tall I'm like the smallest one so I kind of like get kind of like you fade you think you fade oh I think that the girls are just they're I have like tiny like chiclet muscle bellies because I'm five feet tall and then the girls that are taller and bigger, they just, the light hits their muscle bellies a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different like that, but there, there's definitely that, especially when you start to get to the divisions with more and more muscle. Mm-hmm. They, when girls take their clothes off or guys take their clothes off who have a lot of muscle, it can really shock you, you, you know, cause it's, we all maybe have impressive things going on, but when you're looking at somebody else, it can get in your head. Sometimes people don't like to do that. They like to just mm-hmm. stay in their zone because it can get in your head. I don't, it doesn't get in my head. I actually appreciate bodies. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan and I'm an athlete. I love looking at like awesome physiques. It doesn't, it, that actually, believe it or not, that doesn't mess with my mind. I love 
seeing how awesome people look. Mm -hmm. So but yeah, definitely the more muscle, the more wow factor I think there is backstage. Yeah. Right yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave this last question for uh, Lorelai. And you have such a large following. How do you, you know, stay focused and um, keep people out, out of your head? And, uh, you know, that's that's huge. And yes. you, you said you were staying in Michigan and, you know, the goals gym, you know, I've done the goals gym for about a year and. I, I hear it, you know, it, it's a scene every day you need to show up and sometimes you end up not even showing for yourself. So you're like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? I just want to go to the gym, not wearing makeup, get stuff mm -hmm. done, mm -hmm. being stinky, not having to, you know, <laughs> you know but no, I mean, you know, no, it's, right. funny. It's, it's funny because I, for the last year Olympia, 19 weeks, I was locked into my, my same gym. And the first time I went to, to train, you know, you're at the Olympia in Orlando, you know, everybody's at the same gym and there's people. I got like my, my social like anxiety for the first time. I was like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> so I need to get out. So that's why I'm at Best Gym right now for the like seminar. And I'm like, I'm ready to like travel and meet some people. But mm -hmm. again, I get my, I, I get my stuff done always. Yeah. And again, what I portray on social media is not it's not Instagrammable stuff. It's yes. me documenting my journey. So people are like, they come at me with respect all the time. All right. Like, she's working. She's like, I like everyone here. We're like, we're so sorry to bother you. Like, is it okay to take your quick pictures? I'm like, mm -hmm. like, of course. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm fine. I'm mm -hmm. also aware of that. I booked like a whole four hours to be here. Like <laughs> it's okay. <Yeah>. But, um, <laughs> but the noise does get loud. Yeah. Um, the noise get loud, your friend circle gets smaller, but it's okay. Yeah. It's totally it's okay. fine. It, yeah. is okay. it is okay. It is okay. Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you do an amazing job. And I don't know if we lost Flex, but oh, oh no. Yeah. This has been such an amazing conversation. Thank you for sharing um your your story, your knowledge, just giving us some like insight. It's just it's been a wonderful conversation, especially what you shared with the athletes, because I really do feel that uh, the bikini athletes out there, they they learn something because they think that they need to do this and they need to hear from you. Even though they see something on social media, they may not. But you're giving us the real deal. So I appreciate that so much. Thank, thank you, Linda. I think yeah. you, you girls are doing so ladies are doing so great with just this platform and just being mm -hmm. able for us to to have a voice and to be mm -hmm. heard and to have like the, the right content, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I really, I really praise you for that so much. And uh, it's definitely a conversation to have and to be more loud about it, just a little bit louder. And, yeah. you know, it's always interesting because sometimes, you know, you, I see, I see things on myself and I'm like, Oh, it's funny how, you know, so much, you know, more about me than I even know about myself. <laughs> so, so I, I'm glad. And I, I hope, you know, I, I hope other bikini competitors are just going to come out and just tell their truth, you know, because mm -hmm. to hear they from the, mm -hmm. and there's nothing to hear from the source. And I, I still think there's going to people be like, you know, Oh, something else you know but once you hear from the truth and you want to deny the truth then that's on you that's not on me like yeah. i i and people that have been knowing me they can't go back like i've always preached the same thing i i i practice what i preach what you see is what you get that's all i mm -hmm. i i say and that's all i do so yeah yeah well guys out there thank you for joining us thanks to my co-host wendy portino flex wheeler and especially Laura Lee Chapados. Good luck. Go and get them. I'll see you on that stage <sighs> in four weeks. Four Thank weeks. you, ladies, for allowing me to be a part of this. You guys are absolutely amazing. Laura, I wish you everything but the best. Thank you. Uh, you don't need anything but yourself. Yep. Uh, Linda, you look amazing. Damn. Thank you. you know, if we back in the days, I'd date you right now. I knew. Uh, I was Wendy, waiting for Flex at Wendy. some point. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, Flex. <laughs> Wendy, I, I love it. you. Great. Thank like, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you, guys.